The world's most widely watched TV programme, Top Gear, has a new presenter. Chris Evans, BBC Radio host, will take over from Jeremy Clarkson, who was sacked or let go for hitting a producer in March. The BBC's is Clarkson's former co-hosts, Richard Hammond and James May, will not be taking part. Well, Evans was an early favourite for the job, though at first he said he wasn't interested. Categorically, he said. Maybe not widely known outside the UK, he's a very famous face at home. He started local radio more than 30 years ago before moving to national broadcasting. He went on to host Innovative Breakfast and music TV shows, then created his own production company, eventually selling it for more than £200 million. He is a self-confessed petrol head. He spent millions building a collection of very precious sports cars, including six white Ferraris and two black ones, for good measure. Like Clarkson, he's also no stranger to controversy. A previous show was taken off air for breaches of regulations. He was once banned from driving for speeding, and some of his previous presenting jobs ended in very public arguments with his bosses. Let's speak now to Zach Estrada, who is the associate editor of Car Scoops, Los Angeles-based automotive news website. Um, Zach, this has been the kind of Clarkson show with Hammond and May as sidekicks for 20 years or more, but it's also been reinvented before, hasn't it? Can it be done again? Well, I think it can. Um, when uh, Jeremy Clarkson brought back Top Gear in 2002, it was essentially bringing over a name and very little else, um, new format, uh, new hosts and, and a, a lot of new personalities. And even since then, the show has really evolved uh, into uh, something very different than what a car show in 2002 uh, would have been like. So a Chris Evans top gear is going to look very different from the Jeremy Clarkson top gear. Um, and that might not be such a bad thing. Does this does his reputation kind of carry outside the UK? I mean, he's well known as a petrol head, isn't he? We often have his E-type Jag, his D-type Jag, his Ferraris outside the BBC building here. Uh, I can't think of many Americans who know of Chris Evans as the presenter. Uh, any familiarity with him would be from Top Gear, likely. Um, he's been on the show a couple times. Um, his, his white Ferraris have been on the show. Um, other than that, this is a this is a new face for um, Top Gear's international audience. Um, but at the same time, Jeremy Clarkson was not a household name uh, in America when Top Gear launched, when it first became available on BBC America. Um, so I think among car enthusiasts, um, you know, his uh, Chris Evans's lack of recognition will. Um, you know, that's not his biggest hurdle at the moment. And he can clearly connect with people. He's got one of the most listened to radio shows in the UK. He had big figures just now uh, for a revival of his old TV show. He's even got a compilation album doing very well in the charts at the moment. What does it take to sell a program to a car audience? Well, to a car audience, it's uh, obviously a genuine interest in cars. And Chris has that. Uh, we, we know he's a Ferrari collector. Um, to sell it, to a car audience that wants a good TV show and, and also to an audience uh, as a whole, uh, there needs to be a great personality. Um, we, you know, from what we've seen, Chris Evans has a personality. He's a presenter. He's comfortable on camera and carrying himself uh, through a show. Um, it's going to take, though, a, a chemistry with the other uh, co-hosts that was extremely evident with um, Clarkson and, and Richard Hammond and James May uh, we don't know if that if it's going to even approach that uh, with whoever will join Chris Evans. Oh, is that where we'll find out who those presenters are? And we could all hope to be Ferrari collectors. Zach Estrada, thank you very much.